Hey everybody, I'm Chris Rusin. I'm a student here at University of Victoria, majoring in environmental studies and geography. Today we're going to be going to the Souk River system to examine the Souk River that meanders from the Souk Lake to the Souk Inlet. The Souk River system is located on the southwest coast of Vancouver Island. Its climate zone is CSB, according to the Copenhagen Climate Classification Scheme, a warm summer Mediterranean climate. The coldest month of a CSB climate averages above freezing, with all months averaging temperatures below 22 degrees Celsius. And at least four months of the year, the temperature is above 10 degrees Celsius. There is at least three times as much precipitation in the wettest months of the winter than there are in the drier months of the summer and the driest month of the summer receives less than 30 millimeters of precipitation. The local topography has a mix of urban, forested, and mountainous areas. The Souk River starts at Souk Lake and flows down the side of the mountain. The channel runs through the mountain's steep topography before coming flowing through the dense forest areas. Next, the river flows to the urban areas where a man-made levee stops the river's hydraulic action from causing excessive abrasion. Here we can clearly see the bedrock formation that has formed the valley in which this river flows through from the Souk River down to the Souk Inlet and then to the sea. The river follows the topography of the mountains as it flows through the dense vegetation. Here we can take a look at the stream flow and water levels from historical values. At the Demal Creek at the river inlet, we can see that there's a very low discharge rate at 0 0.2 meters cubed per second. Now, as we move up further the Souk River, the discharge rates become higher and higher as we get closer to the source until we get to the Souk Lake itself, which has an annual discharge rate of 2.29 meters cubed per second. As soon as I got to Souk, I was eager to get to the river and start doing as many observations as possible. My first feature in observation was the creation of floodplain, which is generally a flat area adjacent to the stream and experiences flooding during periods of high discharge. Soil here is often consists of smaller particles like clay, silts, and small gravel. A levee can be occurring naturally, however in this case a man-made levee was created with large rocks to stop the abrasion that was cutting away at the bank. Artificial levees like this preserve the bank against erosion caused by the hydraulic action of the river. When there is no levee, the river is free to cut away the bank, creating a cut bank. Cut banks are created by the abrasive force of the river's hydraulic head and later deposits the sediment on a point bar on the other side of the river's bend or meander. As the river curves around the bend, the water slows and releases the sediment to the riverbed. This process is responsible for the river's ability to meander. Here we can see the full effect that sediment has, creating a point bar and the cutaway on the other side here, which has deposited sediment and has almost created a full Oxford link on the other side here. Wow, what a great feature. An oxbow lake is a U-shaped lake that forms when a wide meander of a river is cut off, creating a free-standing body of water. In Australia, these are commonly referred to as billabongs. Here you can see a bit of the tall lip, which is the highest point of velocity in the river. To visit the next feature that I wanted to show, I had to travel further upstream to the Souk Potholes, where I found a nick point in the form of a waterfall. 
A nick point is a term for when the river flow is disrupted by a change in grade, in this case, a waterfall. Nick points like this one increases the hydraulic action and changes the speed at which the river flows. Wow, I had a great time doing this streamlab, and I hope you guys all enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And big shout out to the campsite manager who let us trespass on his land to get this great footage of the Souk River.